We are about to go kayak to the sandbar in Oahu. Yeah, super cool. There's a bunch of patch reefs and fringe reefs that you can stop along the way and snorkel at. That's why we got our gear. We just went over the rules with the guide and it's gonna be pretty cool. You go to the sandbar and then there's what, like four reefs you can snorkel at? Yeah, I'm excited. Maybe even five. And also there's this island called Coconut Island. You're not supposed to go there because it's a research institution, but uh, there's a lot of reefs next to it that we can check out. All right, walk it up. Here's where we got our kayak. We are walking it out. And once we're deep enough, we can hop in and start paddling to the sandbar. They say it's about a mile. Ready to go? Yeah, this is cool. We just found something Look at these things. interesting. Yeah. It's not an octopus. We don't know what it is. It's really long. Does anyone know? It looks interesting. It's got this interesting looking mouth. Look, there's so much. You can see its mouth? Well, it's got like tentacles on the front, like maybe a mouth. It almost looks like a sea anemone. As you can see, it's very shallow at first. We are getting deeper. We are getting deeper, but not much deeper. I get the feeling it's going to be shallow most of the way, unless we go in the channel. Over there to our right is a Marines military base. And Josh has a little bit to say about it. Yeah. My dad used to come here all the time. He was an F-18 pilot in the Marines, and there was about three squadrons based there. And I mean, he got to come to Hawaii all the time for work. Lucky. We are pulling up to the sandbar. Over here, they're celebrating the first birthday. And there's a bunch of boats over here. If you live on the island, this seems like the thing to do. And you can see how clear the water is. That sand right there. We made it to the Kanohi sandbar. It took us 30 minutes. It's just below Josh's knees. It's still really shallow. At 2 p.m., you'll be what? Three fourths? It should be three feet deep. Okay, right three. There. that's when the tide is high. We've been taking a bunch of videos for reels with our tripod. So if you come out here, bring a tripod because it doesn't fall over and you get literally the best. Like views for you to just walk out in the distance. This has been our favorite excursion that we've done in Hawaii so far. And I wouldn't even call it an excursion because we just rented the kayaks. It's not like we paid for a tour or anything. We have not seen any fish at the sandbar. There's just green plants, but that's about it. For our lunch, we packed a Caesar salad kit. Just made it out here. It's delicious. It's probably just because we're eating that out in the middle of the ocean. The anchor rental is $5 and it's worth it because else your kayak will take sail. This allows us, Josh, show it, to just be out here and chill. Josh has us moving our kayak. We were closer to all these people. We've been out here for two hours now, we're just chilling. We just dropped off our kayak and we went exactly for four hours. Yeah, we bought the full day, which is $20 more because we thought we'd be out there forever, but turns out the tide chases you off the sandbar so by the time you get chased off the sandbar paddle to the reefs unless you snorkel for a long time it only takes four hours so if you want to save 20 bucks buy the half day 